This video will cover the topic, using a graphing calculator to solve a word problem involving a local extremum of a ra rational function. I have a quick question. What exactly is a local extremum? I can answer that. A local extremum is a point on a graph that has a maximum or a minimum. It is called local because it is in the part of the graph that we are examining. The graph is much bigger and therefore may have other local extrema. A local maximum is seen on a graph as the top of a hill on a graph, and a local minimum is seen as the bottom of a valley on a graph. We will now work to solve an example problem of this topic. Say we are given a rational function c of x equals 3x squared minus 5x plus 31 all over x squared minus 2x plus 5. C of x is the concentration in grams per milliliter of a certain chemical x minutes after a reaction. Our goal for the problem is to use the Alex graphing calculator to find the value of x that maximizes the concentration, and then give the maximum concentration. Basically, this means to find the local maximum on the graph of the function. We also want to state the behavior of the concentration for very large x, as, or as x increases. Now, this may seem like so much information, but let's break up each step. We will now jump to the Alex graphing calculator to work out the problem. On the calculator, we will start by going to the y equals menu. On y1, we will type our function. Start here. After we type our equation, we will then press graph. The graph will then appear. We can see that the local maximum is the top of this hump on the graph. And we can see that the maximum is somewhere between x equals 0 and x equals 3. So, how do I find the exact point of the maximum on the graph? To do this, we will click on extrema, and then x equals 0 for the left bound, and x equals 3 for right bound. Then click on maximum to find the point. For this problem, we will round the point to the nearest hundredth. So the point here is 1.12 comma 7.26. What does this mean? I think it means that the maximum value is 7.26 grams per milliliter at 1.12 minutes, right? Correct. So now we need to figure out the behavior of the concentration as x increases to very large values. We look at the graph and see that as x is increasing, the concentration seems to approach a finite value, which is indeed what we say for the com behavior of the concentration for very large x. This shows that there is a horizontal asymptote at c of x, or y equals 3, showing that the concentration will never be less than 3 grams per milliliter. To confirm this horizontal asymptote, we can use our function. Because the degree on the numerator is the same as the degree of the denominator, we can divide the leading coefficient of the numerator by the leading coefficient of the denominator to get our asymptote. So when we do this, we get that the asymptote is indeed c of x equals 3. Great. You know, that makes sense to me because it looks like the graph is getting more flat as x increases.